The straight pull manipulation in the cervical spine is one of the easiest manipulations. In fact, what do we do? We just build in longitudinal traction followed by a little impulse. Well, thanks to the bananas, we can put the patient in a stable position. Her head is also supported by a little extra head support. And my position is also going to be very stable because I have a very practical foot support. So I won't glide away by doing the maneuver. So, first we take a contact at the occiput with one hand. Then we put foot against the support. Then the other hand at the chin. Then the other foot against the support. And then I flex my knees. I hang, I build in traction, little impulse, up, put the foot backwards and release the traction. You can do that in a very relaxed way. The hand at the occiput, don't squeeze. Don't be afraid to lose the head of the patient. If you squeeze, it's going to be very uncomfortable for the patient. And the hand at the chin, you also don't have to mm, squeeze too much. No, just take a relaxed contact at the chin. But traction is very important not only for the efficiency of the manipulation, but also for the safety of the manipulation. So before you decide to manipulate the spine, cervical spine, thoracic spine, lumbar spine, whatever, make sure you always respect the indications and specific contraindications. Make sure you analyze the clinical image in a correct way so that you have a good indication for manipulation. Another little detail, when you build in traction, you always ask the patient if headache appears, or nausea, or vertigo, ask for it. If during traction the patient has headache, you produce headache, nausea or vertigo, please stop the maneuver and don't proceed with manipulation. Safety is very important. So, hand occiput, foot, hand, foot, I don't have traction yet, flexion, now I have my traction, up, manipulation, release.